Now for this next part we've got to find dy by dx then. And what I notice here is I've got a product, a product of two functions of x. I've got this one here and I've got it being multiplied by e to the minus x. So this is going to have to be done by the product rule. And the product rule, just very briefly, okay, although you can see this on my website, okay, in a bit more detail, that is, if you've got two functions of x being multiplied together, we'll call it u and v, it can be shown that dy by dx is equal to one of those functions, let's say u, it doesn't matter which one, times the differential of the other one. So in this case it'll be u dv dx plus, and then we do it the other way around. We take say v and multiply it by the differential of u with respect to x, du dx. And there's the product rule. Okay, so if I was doing this then, I wouldn't write what u or v are, I know a lot of people do, but I would just get straight into this and just say therefore dy by dx equals. And all we've got to do then is just take one of these functions, it doesn't matter which one, and multiply it by the differential of the other first of all. So if I decide just to take this one, the 2x squared minus 5x then plus 2, and then multiply it by the differential of e to the minus x, Differential of e to the minus x is going to be minus e to the minus x, a result that you should already be familiar with. That result being that if you have y equals e to the ax, by the chain rule dy by dx always equals a e to the ax. Alright, okay, so let's say that's a rule that you should be familiar with. Anyway, back to the product rule. One part times the differential of the other part, we just differentiate that, and then plus, and then we take the other part, e to the minus x, and multiply it now by the differential of this quadratic factor. So differential of 2x squared is going to be 4x, and differential of minus 5x is just going to be minus 5. And that's essentially it, okay? That's what dy dx equals. You could leave it like that. It doesn't say simplify it. I'm going to simplify it though, so you can just check out for other instances, if you like, of how I would go about this. Got a couple of terms when we use the product rule, and I would always look to see are there any common factors. And there are, okay? There's the e to the minus x. So I would take e to the minus x out. I'd have a square bracket and then seeing that this term was negative I would go for this term because it's positive first of all. So I'd have 4x minus 5 which I could put in brackets but there's no need to really. But then we come on to this term there's a minus here so I'd want minus and then I'd put a bracket with the 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 inside. Okay, and then I would clean up this square bracket. So I've got e to the minus x, and then I can reduce the square bracket down to a curved bracket now as I multiply this out. First of all, we've got 4x minus 5, but this bracket then is being multiplied by minus 1. So that's going to give us minus 2x squared plus 5x, and then minus 2. And I can group some of these terms together to finally end up with e to the minus x and then normally I'd want to go in descending powers of x but the first term here is negative so I'm not going to do that. I look for the first positive term and that's going to have to be the x term here 4x and 5x is 9x and then I most probably do minus 5 minus 2 so that's minus 7 and then put minus 2x squared on the end. Okay, so something like that, alright? Um, well, there you go. That brings us now anyway to the end of this particular part.